Alhamdulillah Wa salatu wa salam Ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da Habata fillah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hayyakum Allah jami'an A question was asked and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us in the questioner and forgive us in the questioner and guide us in the questioner to the sawab, to that which is correct. Was The question was, or it was a piece of advice they were seeking. I'm 20 years old. I want to get married. I live in such and such country. I found a sister in such and such country. And I, I want to marry her. I've done a lot of study. And in fact, this individual mentioned the things that they had done. SubhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored them with already a lot of talib al -ilm, but they want to make hijrah. Should he, and he is already has feelings for a particular sister in country X, should he uh, wait for her or marry her? And even if she doesn't want to make hijrah uh, like he wants to. So this is really an issue about hijrah. So I would say, first and foremost, you have to determine what your goals are. This is very important for any of us. If your goals are habatifillah, and especially, more specifically, our brother, if your goal is to make hijrah, then this is a ibadah, Azima. This is a, such an immense uh, form of, of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I would say that you need to, first and foremost, keep that in front of you if that's what you want. Secondly, aside from keeping that, that focus on your hijra, you need to think about longevity. That this individual, when you marry... You want to find someone who is going to strengthen you and strengthen you in your goals. That there is some commonality. Because in order for longevity, you need something to hold you and your spouse together. So if you compromise on that first thing of, of wanting to make hijra, you won't be satisfied because you will want to make hijra. Perhaps they will change. Perhaps they won't change their mind. So that's you, you need to reflect on that. And secondly, that compatibility or something to help you last in the long term. So, by <clears throat> marrying someone for beauty alone, of course we know our beauty it changes, our bodies change, where it's not gonna be the same. However, of course we encourage the spouses, the men and the women to take care of themselves, be fit, you know, do the best you can. For me, that's an important, something super important. I believe firmly in that, so that's why I'm imparting this knowledge to you. I believe the women, those household women, should handle that business and take care of it and look like the dime piece for their husbands. And likewise, and I believe the husbands should be on swole if that's what it takes to keep their wives enticed. I think that's important. So we'll just share that with you. That's important because men especially are flighty. This is a bit of our part from our nature. Not all men, but many men. Aglabiyah. Most. So it's very important to take care of yourself physically, mentally, spiritually. So you want, you want someone with that compatibility for longevity, that you are going to be able to build a family. So you need someone who's going to be compatible with those goals. If already you see that from the get-go, this individual is not going to complement you or strengthen you, then you want to probably avoid that scenario even if the heart aches a bit those are probably the most important pieces of advice i can uh offer with regards to that is that you will have to determine what's most important to you is it that this particular sister is more important to you or is it that it's hijra because on hijra there's no doubt the world opens up if you go to a muslim country there are m millions of women in each country to probably choose from. So I would say that you need to really reflect and see if someone is going to be compatible with your goals. Probably a last thing I'll mention, because I believe you are from the West when you sent your advice. <clears throat> and 
I would say this, that I would say that also be aware that if you marry from another country as well, and as you mentioned, a particular country that was not a Western country, remember the difficulties, unfortunately, in this time and age of sponsoring your spouse in America and the UK, especially, and even certain countries that it's very difficult to bring the spouse. <clears throat> so this is something you have to be prepared to be patient. I've known many brothers who have married from Yemen and different places and had to wait years to get their spouses. Just all kind of complications, difficulty, stress, everything, and being separate, sometimes with children and so forth. So those are things to, to reflect upon. So this is some of the merits of wearing a, marrying a sister from your country is that you don't have that, 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 uh, that type of stress and, and difficulty to deal with because you're from the same country. But maybe it's difficult to find the compatibility sometimes. So those are all things to reflect on. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil, to make, these, make this affair and this decision easy for you, easy upon your heart. And may Allah bless you with the beautiful, righteous sister who is compatible with you, who will want to make the hijra lillah, wa li rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.